Hello, I'm Molly. And I'm Dylan, and welcome back to TUTV Entertainment. And as we all know, this uh, past weekend was the Oscars, so pretty big time for uh, entertainment. Yeah, we got a lot of cool news stories ahead. Yeah, we do. Let's do it. The 90th Academy Awards show aired Sunday evening. The biggest winner of the night was Guillermo del Toro's The Shape of Water, which took home Best Picture, Best Director, Best Production Design, and Best Original Score. Best Lead Actor went to Gary Oldman for his depiction of Winston Churchill in Darkest Hour. Best Lead Actress went to Frances McDormand for her role in Three Billboards Outside Ebbing, Missouri. The show took place in Hollywood's Dolby Theater and was hosted by Jimmy Kimmel for the second year in a row. This year's Academy Awards passed largely without incident until Frances McDormand's Oscar for Best Actress was stolen at the gov Governor's Ball. Fortunately, celebrity photographer Alex Berliner and his media escort chased down the thief, retrieved the trophy, and then let him go. Although Frances McDormand allegedly said to let the man go, security soon caught up with him after he posted a picture of himself on Facebook with the Oscar. He was identified as Terry Bryant, 47. He was arrested for a felony of grand theft and his bail is set at $20,000. Netflix announced Monday that the science fiction anthology series Black Mirror will return for a fifth season. The announcement was made through a teaser which highlighted many of the most popular episodes from the show. Black Mirror was created by co-producers Charlie Booker and Annabelle Jones. It began on the UK's channel 4, 4 Before Telling picked up by Netflix. Following the series' success, Netflix has continued to pursue science fiction content with shows such as Stranger Things and Altered Carbon, spawning what many are calling, quote, small screen sci-fi renaissance. Fans of Jay-Z and Beyonce were ecstatic on Monday as Facebook and Ticketmaster displayed dates for an On the Run 2 tour on July 30th in Philadelphia. Unfortunately, the posts were quickly deleted, but not before screenshots were taken and circulated on the internet. Representatives for the pair have yet to respond with more information. The last time Jay-Z and Beyonce toured together was in 2014 for the first On The Run tour. Beyonce was promoting her 2013 self-titled album, and Jay-Z was promoting his album Magna Carta Holy Grail. Apple is now reportedly developing its own noise-canceling high-end headphones, similar to those brands like Bose or Sennheiser. The company hopes to capitalize on its success of its wireless AirPod products. Strangely enough, it wants these new headphones to serve as competition with its own subsidiary of Beats headphones. Apple has been working on this product for well over a year, but setbacks have forced delays on potential release date. Some speculate that the project may be scrapped altogether. Wow. Very nice. A big week in entertainment. That is for true. Sure. So, what did you think about the Oscars? I love the Oscars. I love watching it every year. But I was upset because the one film I wanted to win did not win. Which film was that? It was Loving Vincent. Very nice. And it's special because it was made up all of, of all these like original Van Gogh paintings. And wow. there's so much work. It took seven years to create and it didn't win. That's no good. Well, yeah. either way, big. Big Oscars. A lot of people, I'm sure, are very happy with their wins. Yeah, it was still a great show. True. Yeah. I agree. <laughs> all right. Well, that's all we have for entertainment this week, folks. I'm Molly. And I'm Dylan. And thanks again for joining us at TUTV Entertainment.